Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise, this is Dear Designs, and today I'm going to show you the progress that I've got on the mini whips that I cast on last week. <laughs> um, it doesn't feel like I've got a lot of progress, but I think because I'm working on quite a few things, um, yeah, it just doesn't feel like I've got a lot of progress on one single thing. Um, places you can find me will be linked down below. They are always linked down below. Um, I'm on Instagram, Ravelry. I have an Etsy shop where I sell hand dyed yarns, badges and stitch markers. Um, also, I am on Facebook, but I'm more of a stalker. And I could probably say that about Instagram as well. <laughs> just because I don't post huge amount but I am always accessible on Instagram um, so yeah that is that's that also on Instagram and on Ravelry I am running a year-long knit along which is called year of the sock 2022 um, and this month's prompt was or still is should I say pastel beauty and that is um, running until well, that prompt is running until Saturday the 30th of April so if you've got any socks that you want to enter for this month make sure they are entered by the end of Saturday <coughs> excuse me and I will pull winners um, or a winner winners winner from the Ravelry and the Instagram what I do I put all the numbers together I'll pull a winner on next week's video I think that will be the best way to do it so that's what I'm going to do so if you've got any entries that you want to enter then you've still got a few days for that to happen um what else is there I think that's it for roundup of stuff <laughs> I don't have any finished objects this week just because I cast them all on last week and I haven't got any finished which is okay I'm okay with that I've got lots of whips so shall we just get started because there is quite a few I'm sitting on my cushion <laughs> um, so let's start with my favorite uh, which is living in my hand crocheted bag which I really want to make more of um, because they're so handy and it's so nice just to have the bag open with your project inside and in here is my rocket tee and I did say last week I was going to use a hanger to show this and I completely forgot I'm not going to use a hanger because I haven't got one here and I'm not getting back up <laughs> um, so this is the progress I have on my rocket tee oh my goodness how lovely are these colours they're just they just scream like raspberry ripple <laughs> um i absolutely love it i did go a little bit wrong with this pattern um so basically i got the eyelets all okay so there's eyelets all the way down each raglan on the front and back and i did all that fine i didn't mess them up that i can see <laughs> but when you get to a certain part of the pattern it says in the pattern read these instructions carefully guess what I didn't do I didn't read them very carefully because I did it a bit wrong but I fudged it so that is <laughs> that's how I'm going to carry on um, and it was literally I think it was before you joined for the V the not the V that you joined for the underarms so I was just like oh well never mind I've got a couple of more stitches than I should have had um, and I don't think that's going to matter. Also, I cast on for the 48 inch. By the time I had finished my increases, I had enough stitches to do the next size up. So I don't know where I went wrong. Um, so yeah. Um, I am... I was, the first couple of rounds here, I was carrying my yarn up the side. Um, can you still, yeah, you can still see. I was carrying my yarn up the side, in on the inside, but I was thinking that what if I pull it too tight and it puckers too much? And then I thought, if I do it too loose, I'm going to get a big hole or I get a stitch that's going to be really loose. 
So I have decided to cut my yarn every time. I have weaved in the ends on the v-neck so all the ends are woven in and they are all on this side and I don't think you can tell well not like this anyway um, you can't tell that I've weaved them in from the front oh, <laughs> well if that happened you'll be able to tell uh, so I'll just need to that ain't even a weaved in end oh it is <laughs> um, because I duplicate stitched it so I'm just going to, I'm not going to fiddle with that now. I will fiddle it, fiddle with it once it's been washed and blocked. But anyway, this is how much I've got. And I am in love with it. I am so happy. I'm just knitting round and round. Um, I loved the actual increase raglan part as well. Um, so this is the fingering weight um, Rocket Tee. The yarns that I'm using... Are, um, so this one here is by Woolly Mummers Yarns and this was the March Mystery Club. The second yarn I'm using is this one by Siobhan's Crafts. And this was her Flamingo Mystery Box set. And then the next one is by Wiku Yarns. My oh, watch is trying to talk to me again. <laughs> Um, and these, I wasn't sure at first whether they actually sort of went together very well. Um, and I knew this one had orangey parts in it. And this has got orange in it. This has got all of the colours of the other <laughs> yarns. And at first I was a bit, mm, I'm not sure. I did, I did the first couple of stripes and I still wasn't sure. But looking at it now, I'm just in love. And I can't wait to get it finished. And I think... It's going to suit me rather well. And fingers crossed it's going to fit. Because I'm just fudging it. Or I fudged the um, numbers. But I think it will fit. Because it is stretching over me. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. But I love it. So that's that. I haven't got any yarn attached at the moment. Because I was on the last round. And then I thought oh well it's easy to show. So I won't add on any more. So that's whip number one. I'm not going to number them all, but the next one is a pair of socks. And this is the Strictly Come Dancing yarn. And I haven't put anything on these. Um, I'm sorry to say. So this is what it looks like. And this is what the yarn is like. Um, yeah, I haven't put anything on these because um, it was in this bag. So... I did go to the garage with Ian during the week and um, this was in that bag because I thought well they're both round and round and I can decide what I want to knit on and then at the weekend we went to was it the weekend? yes at the weekend we went to Leon C and we sat there uh, we got some seafood from Leon C and we sat there um, we went. We found a car park. It was like a little. We called it our little spot. <laughs> um, it was like literally in the middle of nowhere. It was a car park right by the sea, um, and it had a little jetty and everything. And it was just so nice. We sat there for about four hours, watching the tide come in, sitting there eating our food. Um, I was sat there, I was doing some knitting and we was on our phones and we was just talking and it was just so lovely. It was really, really nice and relaxing. Um, that was Saturday. It was such a lovely, lovely day. Um, so that is my first two. The next one is the Daybreak Tea, which I did get a little bit more on. I haven't got a picture, so I'll put a picture of what it looks like up here. The pattern hasn't got a picture. And this is now just miles and miles of stocking stitch. <laughs> um, I do have a... Oh, is there a stitch marker on here? I'm not sure. I have a tin here that I've got stitch markers in. That I'm going to mark where my progress is. So the next time that you see it, I'm going to put a champagne glass Oops, on this one. 
excuse my missing colour now, <laughs> um, I took my acrylics off and painted my nails just the lovely pink that I was already wearing and um, this one the gel just came off, just peeled off all in one. <laughs> Um, so let's put this on here. This is my progress for this week, um, which I've done the rest of the rib. I don't think I've finished with the rib. So I've done the rest of the rib and I've done all this stocking stitch. Um, and this is just really easy, probably car knitting or zoom knitting and stuff like that and that's what I wanted I wanted to get some bits at a stage where I could just decide oh I'll just pick that up and just pick that up um so yeah that is easy tv car zoom anything knitting <laughs> um and I think I'm gonna do probably about 17 inches um see how I get on uh, I've got enough yarn I'm using. The yarn I'm using is um, Dove Grey. It's Aldi yarn. Dove Grey. Sorry about the glare. I've got the big light on as well. Um, so yeah, that is that one. The bag is not big enough. And I think I said that last time. But we'll see how we get on. We'll carry on with it for now. That's that one. The next one is the Vincas and me and Mandy from Mousy's Makes are knitting this one. It is a free pattern on Ravelry, all the links will be down below. And we got to the stage, we both got to the same stage and it was the um, dot knot stitch that we was, have, we was looking at thinking oh my goodness, how the hell do you work that stitch? And I think, me personally, I was overthinking it too much. Um, and I was just like, this is a little bit silly. And then I was on a Zoom, and one of the, la the lovely ladies, Jane, she was like, is there not a YouTube video? I was like, I did not think of that. <laughs> so there is, there's uh, a couple of YouTube videos showing you how to do the dot knot stitch. Um, and oh my god. What was I overthinking it for? Because it was so easy, so simple, um, and I have this much progress, which I am so happy about. Let's see if I can hold it up. Um, oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's so, so lovely. So before I was at this eyelet row here, and then this is the dot knot. This is the dot knot stitch here that we was having stress over that we didn't need to have stress over um so yeah that's that i've done another drop stitch i've done this it's called the diamond eyelet i think they've called it and then another drop stitch and then the next part is going back to this here so the pattern a which is like the moss stitch um which is fairly easy the only thing that i'm worried about this one is that it's going to be quite short. Um, I'm not sure. But I have actually pulled down. Not pulled down. I got down out of the loft. Um, my summer clothes. And I was looking to see what I got. With what I'm actually working on. At the moment. And I do have a few pairs, pairs of shorts. Like really floaty shorts. That I can wear with this. And I have a skirt I've got, and I've also probably got a dress that I could wear this over. It's like a little um, string vest dress. Like it's got the little straps, and it's just a floaty dress that, if it is quite short, then I could wear this over the top. So it looks like I've got a skirt on underneath. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with the progress that I've got so far. Um, I know I said I wanted to be quite monogamous last week with one thing, but I'm enjoying knitting on everything. And what I'm trying to do is if I've got a few hours during the day, I am actually setting a timer for an hour and working on one thing for an hour. Um, and then if the next day, if I didn't get to work on something or I did, I'm not working on the same thing as the day before, 
if I haven't got time, if that makes sense. So I, I am doing a sort of rotation, but whatever I fancy at the time. And um, I did this, I did all this yesterday, actually. Um, I think it took me just over an hour, but I knew that I was wrapping stuff up anyway. So um, I just thought I'd knit a whole section. And that is how I want to knit on this, I think, is a section at a time. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I love the colour that I've chosen. I'm just going to carry on. I am into my second ball. Um, and I have only four, five. I have five balls. Fingers crossed I'm going to have enough. Um, so, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm not going to put a stitch marker in this. Because, obviously, I, it's quite easy to see where I was. Um, so, yeah, that is my Vincas. And I love it. I love everything that I'm working on at the moment. <laughs> um, that's that one. The next thing is a shawl that I started, the Quiet Time Shawl. And this one, um, looks like this. And this one I had to purchase some more needles for. Um, this one I'm doing in my own hand dyed. I can't remember what I called this one. I did pull it out of the shop. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. It's a lovely purple and grey. Um, and this is, whoops, how much I've got. So not a lot. I did put the marker where I did to start again. So I'll use, this is marking my right side of the work as well as my progress. Um, and I did get the Knit Pro, what are the plastic ones? can't remember but they are knit pro 3.75s they're the greeny ones um so the, yeah this is how much progress i've got not a lot but like again like i said i've only i only got the needles friday um they come friday so i worked a bit on this yesterday to be honest so i think i got that much done in about an hour um yeah that's that and then I'm using this and then the end part of the of the shawl. So where the white colour is, is this. And then where the blue colour is going to be, this uh, Drops Fable print in colour 330. So I think they go pretty well together. And it's a nice, it's, I think it's a big enough contrast, like lighter than into a bit of a darker colour so yeah that is that one I didn't put the pattern back for the Vincas I'm good at doing that <laughs> um, that's that one the next one that I'm working on um, which is the last one that I've got here to show you um, I have got socks in my handbag but I haven't worked on those I've got the cow blanket from my niece I haven't worked on that at all and then I've got my cosy memory and I haven't worked on that so th this I'm just going to basically show in my videos what I'm working on so I started the streamline tank which I don't know whether you've seen this if you're a long time viewer I already have one so this is the first one that I made in some I don't even know what the yarn is it was from Lolly's Little Wool Shack um, and it was it's it feels like cotton or a cotton blend of some sort um, I absolutely love it and I wish I got some more but obviously I didn't um, and so th this is the first one that I made it is very short so I do want to extend it I did knit this to the pattern um, and I think because I've got quite a long body, um, it is quite short. And plus, I didn't do the sleeves very long. Not the sleeves, <laughs> the straps. I didn't do the straps very long, so it is quite a high v-neck on me. Um, I could always undo them and add more, but I like this one the way it is. And I'm going. I'm the reason I've got this out is because I'm modifying the one that I'm currently knitting on. Um, modifying it to that one to make it bigger um, so this is the streamline tank and I've got this much so again not really a lot um, it's just knitting at the moment I've got a 
couple, a few more inches to go um, until I start the patterning down the front here. I don't know. So here there is you knit one below, um, and you also do that on the sides as well. So here it's um, knit one below, so you get this nice effect, and then that goes up into the straps. Um, so you do that all the way down the sides, and the rib is the same as well. Um, I don't think I did the rib the same on this one. I did it a bit wrong. <laughs> um, again, not reading the pattern properly, but it's all okay. It's fine, and I'm going to put another stitch marker. I haven't got a fancy one in here, so it'll just be a bulb. Whoops, marker. On this, to show my progress, because obviously it is just stocking stitch, and it is a bit boring when you're just knitting and knitting and knitting and plus it's backwards and forwards <laughs> um, and I think because I've knitted so much in the round you forget how much you don't miss or I don't miss <laughs> purling um, but yeah so that is my progress on that and I'm quite happy with it uh, I don't know whether my knitting plans will change this week uh, just because it's what I want to knit on. So I am knitting this. I didn't tell you what the Vincas was in. The Vincas is being knitted in the same yarn as this but in the coral colour. And this is Knitcraft Cotton Blend Plain. And this is in light grey. And it's 50% um, cotton, 50% acrylic. Um, 215 meters per 100 gram and like I said the Vincas is being made in exactly the same but in coral um, yeah it's DK as well I have five of these um, or four I do have five of them but one is a different lot number so I'm hoping that I won't need the fifth one so I don't think I will because this is still my first ball <clears throat> No, it ain't. That's not even attached. This is still my first ball. I have five in here. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that I'll get what I need to out of two balls for the front and two balls for the back. Um, so that's that one. Again, I have left patterns out. Um, the Streamline Tank is a free pattern on Ravelry. Um... It is, there is a paid for version and there is a free version um, so that's that the Vincas is a free pattern the shawl I was gifted um, Daybreak Tea is a free pattern and the Rocket Tea is a paid for pattern as well but like I said all links will be below um, the next thing that I want to cast on I know I've already been to the cast on party and I shouldn't be casting on more stuff but there is one thing that I was gifted, and I think I did show it last week. Oh, my mouth, mouth is so dry. And it is this beautiful top. It's called the Plumera. Plumera, uh, that, that's what I'm saying. It's from Woolen Pine. Um, and I absolutely love the way that is fitting on her it's such a lovely pattern um, or it's such a lovely design so I had some yarn that I dyed up quite a while ago um, and it was in the shop for a while it didn't sell and I liked it so much that I took it out the shop and I put it in my personal stash um, and I was umming and ahhing about it I'm just leaning over to get it um, I was umming and ahhing about it if I can find a picture of the original um, what it looked like I will leave it here if not I'm sorry um, but I decided to over dye it and I'm going to knit this top with this yarn that I have dyed and then over dyed <laughs> so I over dyed it with a lovely pink so it's more now it's a lot more pink than it was before I do have three of them and I have caked them up because I'm thinking if they're caked up I'm more likely just to cast it on so with this pattern it's paid for obviously I don't want to say too much but you knit the um, triangles first um, 
so you need to do and like the straps are um, you cast on with a provisional cast on and then you knit some of the strap increase with the triangles and then go back at the end to knit the rest of the strap to how long you want it um, because there is in the pattern um, instructions to make it a high v-neck a um, mid v-neck or a really low v-neck um, depending on how much um, you want to cover up um, which is really really good I'm hoping three will be enough for my size the only the only reason I'm saying that is because it's quite long and it looks quite floaty at the bottom so I'm hoping three will be enough um, I'm hoping that I, I was wondering if it would make me look naked this color but I think it's quite dark um, and I'm hoping that even if I've got a tan it's not going to make me look too naked <laughs> um, because from far away it does look like I don't know it doesn't look like skin colour I suppose more in person it looks like skin colour and I think it's just because of the pinks that are in it oh, I love it so much um, so yeah I'm going to cast this on I don't know whether I'll cast it on this week or not but I thought I would show you the yarn and the pattern and basically yeah I thought I would do that <laughs> um, I am not sure how much progress I'm going to get this week um, so today is Monday the 25th of April on Wednesday um, my mum is coming over um, as a family member sadly passed away a couple of weeks ago so there's a funeral Friday um, so I'll be picking my mum up from the airport on Wednesday and then obviously spending time with her during the day Thursday I will be going and obviously seeing my mum again on Thursday um, and then I think she's going to my aunt's her sister Thursday late afternoon um, and then obviously on Friday I'll be going to the funeral with my mum my aunt um, so yeah it's quite a busy few days um, obviously with my mum coming over and then Saturday my mum's going back home um, so yeah I don't know what progress I will have um, we'll just have to wait and see I might knit on sock <laughs> socks quite a bit uh, as they're small projects that I can take with me um, but yeah I'm not going to rush or pressure myself into knitting lots and lots just to have content um, because I can easily sit here and ramble to you like I am now <laughs> um, that's easy enough for me um, I really miss vlogging and I know I said I was going to try and do some weekly vlogs and that I still might try and do that I might might try that this week actually um, I know it's Monday it is one o'clock in the afternoon now um, but I got a few things going on so we yeah like my mum my mum coming over obviously the funeral that's not going to be in the vlog but um for my mum coming over and stuff like that so I might I might pick up the camera this week and uh see what happens um and I will obviously show you what I'm working on it might be a really long vlog I know a few people really like the long ones so <laughs> um yeah anyway I'm gonna go because my camera is gonna shut off any second I'm at tw uh, 29 minutes and seven seconds um, on my recording so I'm going to go thank you so so much for watching um, if you have any pattern ideas or anything like that then leave links down below or leave me the, the names down below um, yeah I am gonna go and stop rambling don't think there's anything else I've forgotten to say because last week I totally forgot about the sock along <laughs> um, but I'm gonna get this edited now um, yeah I really don't think there's much more to say so I'm gonna go thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed and I shall see you all in the next video bye